The Sochi Olympics just 51 days away, but if you want to get up close and personal with one of the wildest events at the Games, just head out to Lake Louise this weekend. The FIS Snowboard Cross World Cup will have Canada's medal hopefuls battling for positioning. One of those racers hoping to get tuned up for the Games, Calgary native Michelle Brodeur. Welcome. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Thanks for having me. Well, a pleasure. And I just, I love, as a spectator, I am not, I'm not a winter sports person at all. I just, <laughs> I fall down. I've tried this. It is so exciting and exhilarating. Tell us how you got into uh, Snowboard Cross specifically. Snowboard Cross? Um, oh, man. So, well, I, uh, I started out with this club that was just on weekends. And we had about three coaches. And... Um, the main coach was just really into border cross and I was always really good at free riding and I was always going out with the boys like the girls would take one coach and then the boys would go in like with the other group and I was always like I want to go with those guys they go faster <laughs> and so then he started putting me into little races and stuff like that and then I just started really enjoying myself and just kept going to bigger and bigger races and now I'm here and now so, you're here <laughs> yeah. and you're here vying for a spot on, on the Olympic team so tell us what needs to happen between now and when the the team is chosen in order for you to make it um well it's not it's nothing's like certain like other team there's probably around one spot left for girls in border cross right and so basically I would feel confident if I got a podium would be great mm -hmm. or even just a finals I'd feel confident about making the Olympic team but um, it also depends on how the other girls do right. too so nothing is set in stone. Is this I mean I know that on teams like this there's generally you know there's there's camaraderie but of course there's competition at the same yeah. time. What's it like you, you always have a World Cup uh, competitions but what's it like during an Olympic year? Um, <clears throat> It's it's definitely there's definitely more tension, but there's there's still that like team spirit. Like a lot of the other the other girls like Dom and Mael and Carly, they've all been really really supportive of, of me. And um, I tore my ACL last year, and so even though like training has been a little bit slow for me, they're still like <clears throat> always motivating mm -hmm. me and pressuring me to like keep going and stuff like that. So even though it's it's. It's a little bit more stressful, but there's still that com camaraderie. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Talk to me about the challenge of, of uh, suffering an injury like that and then going through rehab and, and getting back up on your feet and into competition. Um, well, it's definitely the biggest thing is, is the head game mm -hmm. that you kind of play with yourself, I guess, a little bit because you, <clears throat> you go up to these competitions and you look at features and you're like, oh, that kind of looks a little bit like how the same feature that I may mm -hmm. have injured myself on before. and so. You definitely have to not look at it like that and just kind of put that in the past and, uh, you know, really know that you can do it because you've, you know, you've done it 20 or 30 times before and it was just that one time that you injured yourself on. So right. it's hard, but you just have to really push through it, I guess. It's, you it's, do some it's a mental game. You brain work. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. And what about your coaches? How do they sort of help you with um, that? Well, they're great. Like, uh, Marcella, he is an amazing technical coach. And he really believes in us, and so it's, if you, if you're doing the course, and he uh, he tells you on the radio like, oh, you can do it, like um, you you have the speed, you just you really have to trust him and just really go for it, because, well, you know he I don't know he just knows. <laughs> you have to trust him, but most of all, you yeah. have to trust you, your skill, yeah. your own body. Yeah, uh, it's exactly. such an incredible event. <laughs> uh, you can catch Michelle in action this Friday and Saturday, Lake Louise during the FIS Snowboard uh, Cross World Cup. It's presented by Sport Check. For more info, head to breakfasttelevision.ca. Uh, we wish you all the best. Thank you very much. Uh,